you've missed, and, and, and listen, walk off the stage and be above it all. Don't keep dragged down. Remember when you, you know, sexual last day? Move on past that because you have lost too much time to this already, right? You have lost too much time. Go home, reintroduce yourself to your daughter, and be a really good father to her. Amber says that he's a monster and this and that, but she's never called the cops on him. When he fails his lie detector test, Randy will go to jail. I'm not going to put our daughter's lives at risk any longer. Why is our oldest daughter telling me that you taught her these certain acts? She's been known to lie. Randy served one tour in Afghanistan fighting for our country. But now he's fighting another battle to see his daughters. He says his wife Amber cheated on him prior to his deployment while he was training. And now that they're divorced and in a custody battle, he says Amber made false accusations that he molested his young daughters. And there's more. He says Amber has fed these lies to his other ex, Stacy, and now Stacy refuses to let him see his other daughter. Randy feels like he's gone from one war overseas to another here at home. Take a look. I called the show because my ex, Randy, is being accused of molestation. Three months ago, I saw my one daughter performing a sex act on our other daughter. And I had asked her where she had learned that from. And she said her dad had taught her. His ex, Amber, told me that the girls were in a hotel room. And one of the girls had the other one um, with her clothes off. and. She asked him where they learned it, and it, she told me it was Randy. I confronted him about two weeks after the fact, and he denies every bit of it. Amber's also told me that one of the girls was taking pictures of their self on her phone. There was another time that I can remember. He, one of the kids had told me that Randy was sneaking into our daughter's room when everybody was asleep at night. I guess when Randy started going into her room at night, she started hiding knives under her bed. And I can only assume that was to protect herself from whatever was happening because she was scared. When I found about, out about the knife, I went to her and asked her, and she told me it was just to cut things up with it. I didn't know what to believe, honestly. One time when me and Randy met to switch the kids, one of my friends heard Randy tell our daughter that you didn't tell mommy our little secret, did you? And I ended up calling Randy and talking to him about it. And I asked him what he meant by that. He's like, I never said anything like that. I believe Randy is a good dad. He has his moments like every parent does. No parent is perfect. But there's sometimes he can get kind of mean and yells at him a lot. Honestly, I really don't think he would do anything to the girls. I've never uh, noticed anything out of him. Amber says that he's a monster and this and that, but she's never called the cops on him. I am really mad at Randy right now because if he has done this and the accusations are true, he has ruined our kids' lives. Next month, we go to court and he thinks he's gonna get custody of one of our daughters back. There's no way in hell he's going to. When he fails his lie detector test, Randy will go to jail. I'm not gonna put our daughter's lives at risk any longer. How do you feel about what they're saying? It's disgusting. I've never done anything like that. I love my kids. My kids are my life. They've always been my life since the day they, I found out that they were pregnant with them. First of all, I. You know, nothing to do with what you're being accused of, but uh, thank you for serving our country. Um, you know, to, like, you know, going over to Afghanistan, now you're coming home and you get accused of this. Why do you think these accusations are coming up from your ex-wife? Because she's very bitter. Like she said in tape, we are going uh, for custody in March, and she's going to do anything she can to mess me over. And uh, when did you first find out that you're being accused of? Uh, approximately this? two years ago. Um, I went to talk to Stacy about seeing my daughter, 
And, and Stacy's your ex-girlfriend. Yes, correct. And she said uh, the allegations that she had heard, she wasn't going to let me see her until she heard anything different. I've okay. never been talked to by children's services. I've never been talked to by the cops, nothing. So she never called the police your ex-wife? No. Okay. Um, then there's this story, which even I find kind of crazy. Your daughter's hiding knives under the bed? Yes, that happened one time, yes. What kind of knife? Bayonet? What, I believe what was it was under? a butter knife. A butter knife. Correctly. Oh, my God. <laughs> but she, she kind of implied on the tape that it was to protect yourself, protect yeah. yourself. And that's never been said by my daughter to me. As far as I know, it's never been said to Stacy. Do you think your uh, ex-wife is making this up? Yes, I do 100% believe she's making it up. I know she's making it up because I've never done anything to my kids. All right, well, uh, we're going to meet her now. Uh, here's your ex-wife, Amber. Why is our oldest daughter telling me that you taught her these certain acts? She's been known to lie. You know you did this to our kids. No. I don't see why you're telling everybody you're lying. Kids. I'm not lying. Yes, I ain't never are. done anything to my kids and never would do anything to my kids. Then and you why know is that. our oldest daughter telling me that you taught I her have no these idea. certain acts? I have no idea why she has. She's been known to lie. She has kept a consistent story. Well, it's a lie. I have never touched my daughter. I have never touched any kids. Do you have two daughters with yes. them, right? And you believe that he had uh, sexual contact with these children? either sexual contact or he's taught them some sexual acts. I'm not sure if they've seen him do it or... Well, when you talk to your daughters, what did they say? They said that their dad has taught them these certain acts. To perform on each other? Yes. And you believe he did that? I do, because they have kept a consistent story the oh, whole you're time. Saying Were they ever interviewed by a, a doctor or forensic expert yeah, they, with child molestation? Yes. And what was their uh, um, opinion? They didn't find anything just because the kids would not open up about it. Like, any time you try to talk to them about it, they just shut down. They won't say anything. So there was no uh, evidence where you would call the police or...? No, there wasn't. So there's no investigation to him whatsoever? No, there was a couple of months ago, and that's when they went ahead and did the forensic investigation and interviews. And and they